So God led me to one of my favorite stories in the Bible. And this story is in John, Mark, Luke, and Matthew. So like Moses, we've been trying to lead these people out of the desert. But there's a war going on for their souls. And they're in between who they want to serve. So remember the manna that fell from heaven? They don't know what that is. Okay, manna means what is it? Right. And they were only allowed to gather a certain amount and they were not allowed to have anything left over. Anything left over by morning would spoil. OK, with maggots. And, you know, these people, they just want extra, extra, extra. Read all about it. Anything extra ain't real is counterfeit okay let's not be corny <laughs> that was not bars <laughs> that was corns <laughs> i'm sorry about that okay so the manna was to teach them how to be content okay in the desert how to be content with what god gave them okay but but it was never enough for them there and there was a lot going on in the desert okay it took them 40 years to get out of the desert when it was not a 40-day trip okay but they going back and forth because these demons and angels are fighting for their souls so Another thing that they did was make a gold calf. Okay, that's what these people are doing. Moses is up in heaven like, look, Lord, they, they doing it again. Okay, and they said, um, they said, these are the gods, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Okay, they are worshiping false gods. They're giving credit to everything and everyone besides the Lord their God. Okay, and Moses had to intercede for these people just like we've had to intercede for them. Okay, we are praying for them still even though, you know, they've done us how they've done us. And, you know, not every not everybody made it out of the promised land. People died. I mean, not in the promise. Not every made not everybody made it out of the desert into the promised land. You know, people died in the desert. OK, and birds of a feather flock together. There are snakes hanging with snakes. And, you know. They they bit us, okay, but we shook that off like Paul, okay? We cannot be poisoned because the blood of Jesus is running through our veins. And his blood can't be poisoned. But just how they bit us, they, they about to get bit by their snake friends. Then the people of Israel set out from Mount Hor taking the road to the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom. But the people grew impatient with the long journey and they began to speak against God and Moses. Why have you brought us out of Egypt to die here in the wilderness? They complained. There is nothing to eat here and nothing to drink. And we hate this horrible manna. Okay, just disrespectful, ungrateful. Then the people came to Moses and cried out, we have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Pray that the Lord will take away the snakes. So Moses prayed for the people. We, we've been praying for these people still. OK, they getting bit up by snakes and just like they bit us. But we still pray for them. Then the Lord told him, make a replica of a poisonous snake and attach it to a pole. All who are bitten will live if they simply look at it. So Moses made a snake out of bronze and attached it to the pole. Then anyone who was bitten by a snake could look at the bronze snake and be healed. 
And the snake represents wisdom. Jesus is wisdom. More precious than rubies and gold. Okay. He is as cunning, okay, as a snake, but gentle like a lamb. Look up to wisdom and you will be healed. By his stripes, we are healed. John 6, 5 through 13. Jesus soon saw a huge crowd of people coming to look for him. Turning to Philip, he asked, oh, this is the scripture that the Lord led me to. One of my favorite scriptures okay uh or stories as i like all all the different versions okay where can we buy bread to feed all these people he was testing philip okay if you made it out of the desert because you have learned to be content with what the lord has given you in the desert now you are going to be tested in the wilderness to see if you trust him Okay, he was testing Philip for he already knew what he was going to do. Philip replied, even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Then Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Tell everyone to sit down, Jesus said. So they all sat down on the grassy slopes. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, and distributed them to the people. Afterward, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, Now gather the leftovers so that nothing is wasted. So they picked up the pieces and filled 12 baskets with scraps left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves now we get to keep the leftovers okay see in the desert they weren't allowed to because they were being taught to be content so if if you have this down you're content you're content now you get leftovers now you can keep the leftovers Okay, 12 baskets full, one for each tribe of Israel. And you know why? Because now you know what the manna is. Now manna is no longer what is it? You know what the manna is. The manna has been revealed to you. The manna is the bread of life. Jesus Christ. Okay, Jesus Christ has been revealed to you. The manna has been revealed to you. It's no longer what is it? You know what it is. It's the bread of life. Okay, and you know, the manna is not what you can get out of Jesus. It's being content in Jesus because Jesus is enough. John 6, 47. No, yeah, 6, 47. Through 51, I tell you the truth. Anyone who believes, anyone who believes has eternal life. Yes, I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate manna in the wilderness, but they all died. Anyone who eats the bread from heaven, however, will never die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And this bread, which I will offer, which I will offer so the world may live is my flesh. So he will provide for you and you will lack in nothing. So you are being tested. Do you trust him? He will provide. Okay. He said it in his word and he cannot lie. So trust him. Trust him with your life. All right. Trust him with your life because he trusted you with his but i know that you will because you're smart okay (laughs) you're loyal (laughs) baby you're so smart you know you could have been a school book well you could have been anything that you wanted to i can tell the way you do the things you do all right the way you do the things you do (laughs) love y'all good night